viewers i hope you are all fine today i am going to upload a rare case of rudimentary uterus with normal ovaries called mrkh syndrome one of the mullerian ducts anomalies sonography can can confirm the diagnosis of mrkh showing a blind vagina and poorly formed uterus with both ovaries appearing normal in size and appearance mrkh syndrome mayer rotensky kuster hauser syndrome also known as mullerian agenesis is a congenital anomaly characterized by vaginal agenesis associated with in the majority of cases a spectrum of other genito urinary tract abnormalities mrkh syndrome belongs to class 1 of mullerian duct anomalies you can see the you can see the urinary bladder and one ovary now you can see both the ovaries and it both the ovaries show follicle in their interior so they look ecomeco normal this is urinary bladder you can see both the ovaries showing follicular activity in their interior now you can see the uterus and uterus is rudimentary very small in size and you can see the blind vagina in this case with poorly formed uterus very small size now the most common presentation of mrkh syndrome demonstrate a completely absent uterus and vagina a hypoplastic vagina where the normal uterus is seen in less often as in this case the uterus is almost empty only a small tissue is visible and the there is blind vagina ovaries are typically normal in appearance and function with no sign of androgen excess in individuals affected with mrkh syndrome now you can see both the ovaries and both the ovaries look ecomeco normal follicles are also seen so the follicular follicular activity is may be present now this mrkh syndrome is a rare disorder that affect women it is characterized by failure of the uterus and the vagina to develop properly in women who have normal ovarian function and normal external genitals again you can see the uterus and you can see the rudimentary uterus very small sized with the blind vagina but the ovaries are ecomeco normal if you know if any female is born without a uterus or the uterus is tiny so she will not be able to carry a pregnancy since the ovaries are present and they are making eggs one of the eggs can be fertilized with your partners or a donor sperm adoption is another choice for some couples 
the uterus is located within the pelvic region immediately behind and almost overlying the bladder and in front of the sigmoid colon the human uterus is pear shaped and is about 7.6 cm that is 3 inches long and 4.5 cm that is 1.8 inch broad side to side and 3.0 cm that is 1.2 inches thick you can see the size of the ovaries both the ovaries have are, although they are slightly smaller but they look eco normal the follicular activity is also visible in the normal female the ovary of the right side yield ova which on fertilization, fertilization develop as male it is supposed and the ovary of the left side yield ova which are potentially female. MRKH syndrome can be treated either surgically or non-surgically. Non-surgical treatment uses dilators to slowly create a neo-vagina. Now this MRKH syndrome is a rare congenital disorder that affects the female reproductive system Women with MRKH are born without a womb or upper two-third of the birth canal. The condition affects one in every 5,000 women across the globe and renders sufferers unable to carry children. Researchers now suggest that in combination Genetic and environmental factors contribute to the development of MRKH syndrome. Although the specific factors are often unknown, it is also unclear why some affected individuals have abnormalities in parts of the body other than the reproductive system. Uterine transplant could allow women born without a uterus to carry their own babies. One in 5,000 women is born without a uterus, a condition called MRKH syndrome, making it impossible to carry a child. Now, ovulation without a uterus. As in this case, and in female having total hysterectomy, sometimes called complete hysterectomy. The surgeon removes the uterus and cervix, leaving the fallopian tube and ovaries, and the female may continue to ovulate but will no, no longer have menstrual periods. Instance, instead, the eggs will be absorbed by the body into the pelvic cavity. So the people with MRK have normally functioning ovaries and a female chromosome pattern. So external genitals and secondary sexual characters like pubic hair and breasts develop normally. However, they typically do not experience menstrual cycles since the reproductive organs are absent or compromised. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.